What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash and Supergirl video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated. And please do click that bell button down below to get notifications so you never, ever miss a video. So I thought I'd go back to my roots here. I haven't done any kind of Arrowverse series for quite some time. I mean, I haven't really kind of gone into depth with any or kind of interesting ones for a bit, albeit I did actually do one a couple of days ago now, I'm thinking about it, but if I used to do quite a lot of Arrowverse content, but as the channel has grown, I've expanded into other things which interest me, and I think just having this channel, just doing kind of DC TV content would really not be something that I would like to do, and I'm enjoying that you're all watching other things, but... I thought I would bring this to you as I was flicking through the internet while listening to Ready Player One, an audiobook which I highly, highly recommend checking out. It's a lot of fun. It's a bit, some of it's a bit problematic, but the rest of it is, if you look at it at the surface level, it's a really, really fun and nostalgic book. But what is going on here in this video is that I want to bring to you an interesting Flash and Supergirl crossover theory. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually talked to you guys about the possibility of the fact that we could be getting the Legion of Superheroes crossover with The Flash, because the girl who was at the Crisis on Earth X wedding, we're, it could be either Dawn Allen or it could be XS, XS being the kind of granddaughter of Barry Allen, and also being heavily involved with the Legion of Superheroes, considering that she was actually a member. Now, I surmised that I think that with the Legion of Superheroes coming, I think this might be why she has come to this Earth. She might be from the other universe, but she followed Supergirl through here, maybe into the church, which I think would be really, really awesome. But it is a huge, huge long shot that she's involved with the Legion over on the other Earth. So it's quite a long way of uh, kind of a long shot, to be honest, really. But we, I, I definitely do think we're going to be getting a crossover in the next kind of the next half of the season of these shows which i am really excited about i think it would be a lot of fun having another crossover and i think that grant gustin and melissa have some really really organic chemistry between the two and i really do enjoy seeing them those two on screen especially in the musical episode that happened last season which was really really good really underrated and i was hoping for another one but i think that there is quite a kind of not a huge demand for another musical episode but i'm huge on musicals so i i am really really biased when it comes to having this and i really did enjoy the the whole thing with that however there is one other thing that could actually be the crossover this time and it might stem from the crisis on earth x crossover where supergirl is ready to get cut up by eobard thorn well uh, the welzabard thorn only for poor old reverse flash to reveal something he said that he actually fought supergirl's cousin which is obviously superman kal-el so he reveals that he has fought him in the future, which now a lot of people are wondering how he's actually returned. And the only thing I can actually liken it to to explain in a in a decent way is the fact that it's a bit like River Song in Doctor Who. So if you've watched Doctor Who, you'll know what I mean. River Song actually comes across the Doctor at different points in his life. She is a time traveler and show, so is he. So as they travel... They come across each other and she is on a different trajectory. So she's going through her life at one line and he is interjecting at different parts. They never meet in a linear fashion. So that's quite similar to possibly what the reverse flash is doing. So he has actually gone back in time to kind of interfere on Crisis on Earth X. He, he has then obviously had the events of Earth of kind of season one. And these are all kind of throughout different parts of time. And this is actually quite similar to everything that happened in The Return of Barry Allen. So in The Return of Barry Allen, the reverse flash went back in time to actually kind of become kind of friends with Barry Allen. But it never went well because, well, he realized that he was a complete douchebag and villain. But the events 
of his origin, like when he was first in the comics, actually hadn't happened yet. So it's quite similar to River Song, where she's float going through different parts of time, but certain things for her haven't happened yet, which is when she's like, spoilers, because it would ruin the timeline. And they eventually end up getting married, and she can't reveal certain times of when he dies, etc., blah, blah, blah. So that is why the reverse Flash is what he is. That's how he's returned, I think, personally. Obviously, I'm not the writer on the show. But what could happen here is we could be seeing the reverse Flash return. And what I think would be really, really dope is for the reverse Flash to go over to Supergirl's Earth. He could land there and then take on Superman. And this could be he could land on there. And then what happens is he fights Superman and then Supergirl calls up the Flash because she's like, hey, I I remember this dude. We need the Flash over here to help. So then she gets over Barry, and that's when we get the crossover. What would be really cool is if this actually takes place over two episodes. So he could, like, appear in the first episode, and then they could deal with him in the Flash's episode as well. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is possible? Do you want this to actually happen? I really do think that now we have the connection, now Supergirl really knows, and now Ebothal knows about Supergirl, I think that they could team up in that way. I think that that is why the crossover would actually happen. And it does, it's a bit more logical, I think, personally, than my theory of the Legion of Superheroes and XS, and that being, that leading to the crossover, as much as I would kind of prefer that. I think that'd be a lot more interesting than simply having the reverse Flash return. But then again, we all love the reverse first flash and how can you not love the reverse flash i don't know what i just said then that was a very 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 terrible uh, enunciation but let me know what you think down below are you hyped for the next season and do you want more do you want me to cover black lightning as well so let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover black lightning because well it's it's taking legends time slot and it'll be really difficult for me to to be honest actually cover both so if you want that let me know down below so please you like subscribe comment everything i'm also doing more on instagram now as well so check out my instagram as well all the links are down below in the so i'll see you soon goodbye